Okay, round one eliminations coming up. Round one coming up. Again, welcome back to Farmington Dragway, home of the Mad Dog 450 Series. The beautiful Saturday afternoon, almost 80 degrees, slight wind. What's happening to all my followers on Facebook, YouTube, ncpromodern.com, and Twitch? I gotta get over to Twitch and see if anybody's watching. But hey, like and share, like and share. Don't forget to follow us tomorrow from Roxborough Motorsports Park with the 470 Outlaw Gang, Donnie Gibbs Jr. and Clan. We'll be live streaming their event most of the day. Roxborough Dragway. Mega drag racing greater on beautiful Easter weekend in North Carolina. Once again, both competitors from the early incident are, are okay. Chevy Floyd and uh, the Yotes machine. Thanks, Walter. Really proud of the new setup. Hopefully uh, next weekend at PDRA we can uh, get the bugs out of the new, new, new setup. But hey, much better than cell phone media for sure. Puts us in a whole uh, different category. like the drivers are getting suited up. Thanks, Chris, or Kay's fan. I was just getting ready to see if we were on YouTube. I didn't see any comments, but welcome again. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Sorry, I'm eating a piece of candy because I'm hungry and I don't want to eat. Like we're gonna have uh, opening ceremonies, national anthem, and all that good stuff coming up. Number one qualifier, burnout competition winner. Round one coming up momentarily. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful Saturday. What's up, James? Always got my back. Beautiful day here in Carolina. It's close to 80 degrees. Let's see what the temperature is on the weather wrap here.
Right, open the ceremonies, Mad Dog 2024. Incident, not of his own doing. Yep. Coming out of town, we stop the watermelon patch, fill up with fuel, fill up that belly. 
good food. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to get down there because I've been looking at your Facebook page. So let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, sir. Kevin Carp, the winner of the burnout competition tonight. For this afternoon. Chad Tilly with the worst day possible yesterday, tested fire, parts breaking, goes the number one qualifier. CT! You spend that money wisely. Once again, that's Billy Albert horsepower taking Chantilly to number one. Billy Albert, a great coverage partner hours. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody that's out here today. I want to thank Farmer Dragway and Umar Joyce uh, for having this series and, and supporting us. And, uh, I hope that it grows and continues to move forward in the, the way that it seems to be. Uh, I want to thank all my crew and my wife. She puts up with a lot to deal with me racing. Good luck to everybody today, but I hope I'm the last one left. There you go. All right. Congratulations. Now he gets his first day. We're going to give our presentation of the morning. We're going to give our presentation of the morning. We're going to give our presentation of the morning. We're going to give our presentation of the morning. We're going to give our presentation of the morning. You got a radio. Stuart can say it. Stuart can say it. We can try. I don't have enough for it. I'm all persuasion to do what I'm saying. Carry up to the start of the world. But anyway, folks, I appreciate the story. It's a special day. In a, in a sad way, but a good way. And he's going to tell you about it here for folks. But we also lost some folks in the last few weeks, folks. And uh, I'm just going to tell you that we're going better than I am. But to take away the story, we're going to Obviously, everybody saw what happened out here in the second qualifying run. We just uh, want to thank the good Lord for keeping the field the chick safe, first and foremost. Thank you, uh, Tom Mooney and Jerry Nickel out there. And Jerry Haas for building amazing race cars that keep these people safe every day in and day out. Um, we want to, uh, before we go into prayer, we want to mention a whole lot of people. I, um, you guys know my, my dad, he would be here today. Oh, amen. But, a year ago today, he took his last prayer. It's very sad for all of us, but we definitely get to it for the Lord's head. Uh, the Lord lived that uh, the Quisenberry family. Donnie went home to do it for the Lord. Uh, over the winter, and, uh, their family was here racing today, so uh, the Lord thanks you for being here. Just thank you, Lord, for taking care of us and, and being here with us in all that we do. And with continue to lose people. So we have to make sure that we stay in contact with them and uh, make sure we stay close and, and pray for them and be there whenever they need us. So let's, uh, well, let's bow our heads and go to the Lord and pray for the Jesus. Lord, we are so grateful for the beautiful blue skies and humans. Thank you for the trace back. We thank you for the employees. Thank you for the ownership team that, uh, that fixed our finish line and allowed us to, to be out here doing what we love to do. Lord, we are so grateful that you allow us to, to stay safe as we race and as we travel. And just continue to keep us safe. And wrap your arms around these families as well as well. And wrap your arms around these people that, uh, that have race cars to fix and, and, and the soil borders that need to just take care of them and be with them uh, as we continue to roll. Allow us to be there for everybody that's in here. Lord, we give you the, the thanks and the honor for all that happens on this day. And Lord, we cannot absolutely thank you enough for this Easter season that we're celebrating. That, uh, that you sent the good Lord to, you sent Jesus down here to die for our sins and, uh, and to rise again on the third day. Tomorrow we will win. Tomorrow we will win, Lord, we thank you for that. Please be with us in all we do. Continue to shine your, uh, your light on us and to be with us in all we do. The Lord, may everything that we do on this day in honor and glory is in its own sweet holy name.
these guys get suited and booted. The parents are up on NC Pro Motor Facebook page if anybody's interested in looking at them. Or the Mad Dog 450 Facebook page. Get a drink. Dragway, the Mad Dog 450 Series. Follow those guys on, on Facebook and also on Farmington Dragway, the Facebook page. Never thought we'd have more people watching on YouTube and Facebook. Man, how things change. Anybody follow us during the uh, World Series of Pro Mod? How about that? Pro Mod to the front. Thank you, Randy. Hey, I didn't see you, Lisa and Mike. Hopefully we'll see you somewhere this year. Looks like Kevin Carpenter's first up coming down the hill. I've got to put my temperature gauge in my pocket to see what the track condition is. <laughs> it's again streaming all day so far. Almost two and a half, three hours, zero drop frames, zero drop frames. So easy, anybody can do it. some other classes. It's got to be 250, 300 cars here. It's a little bit out of control thus far. Also got to wait till it gets a little darker so I can see the scoreboard.
looks like we got our uh, runner junior street division, I think, while we're getting everybody ready. These are all young adults in the uh, driver's seat with a licensed driver beside them. 970 Deep Stage Challenger, I believe, and the Ford Ranger over there. No dial in. I believe for the Ranger once again teenage street division while we're getting the driver suited up double bolted right here in the near lane eyes going in deep truck gave it back. He was on the brakes down there. Right lane for the win. 739. 739. Double breakout by a lot on both sides. Suburban moving on, Chevy Suburban moving on. Audi near lane, Honda Pilot, far lane. 1050 foot of Honda, 1190 over here, I believe. Thought the Audi would have run a little faster than that. Ten fifty, ten fifty, both lanes. Heads up. Oh, pilots on a break. Go pick up the red light. Runs uh, 
1050 with a one, 1050 with a one, dead zero. Way to go, kiddo. I wish my mom and dad wouldn't let me do this. Yeah, them junior dragsters are cool. I haven't seen one in person yet. I love the funny car body, though. The Jeep's going in deep. The big V8. Green family racing. Trying to bump it down. Here we go. Both cars deep. Oh, red light for the Jeep. He can't wait. like round one of team driver quick uh, dragons spray and we'll be back open around meth dog 450 right here the beautiful farmington dragway
racing coming up here in just a minute. camera away so we don't get any of that traction compound on our lens. Racing. I didn't even look at a pair. It's like Tilly's going to get a uh, competition breakage because uh, Yoke can't make the call because he was involved in the incident. And, uh, the herd machine's going to get a competition breakage as well because uh, Floyd can't make the call. Chad Tilly, number one qualifier, coming down a hill. Competition by, competition by.
once again, Merritt right here in the near lane to 57. Kevin Carpenter, beautiful Kevin Carpenter Motorsports, Jerry Bickle Camaro, far lane. Got to be a good one.
break out on the left side. Tim West moving on, 451, 448, I believe, in the left lane. Break out left lane, Tim West moving on the right lane. Carolina Civil, C2 Motorsports, far lane, the beautiful Willis. In the Wilson machine right here in the Corvette, DC power under the hood, Sandy Wilson's horsepower in the Willis. Once again, thanks to folks over there at Carolina Civil for coming on board with NC Pro Model a couple weeks ago. What a beautiful car. Just love it. Honored to represent those guys and all my coverage partners out at all these events. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to support all those uh, coverage partners any way possible. Standing by right here at Farmington Dragway.